Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess, fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> Now we're in Lodron, the first thing you need to do is go to the well and take the humanity out of this guy's butt. I think I had done that. I think cool. the guy sort of like draped instinctively over the well, yeah. Instinctively reached uh, over to that guy and got yeah. the humanity. Cool. Yep. The next thing you need to do is go up the stairs until you meet um, not into the room with the water, into the room with the pots and the fat cleric guy. Oh, I think I went up the wrong stairs. I went to the stairs that leads up to uh, that massive bridge thing. That I think there's enemies up there. Um, cool. So this stairs here leads up to... Yep, there's a whole bunch of pots. There's messages strewn around the floor everywhere. Cool, and there should be a fat cleric guy. Yeah, I got him. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Enter his covenant, by the way. Enter his covenant? Is he yeah, the, He's a religious Hello covenant? There. Yeah, this I is the covenant we, our characters technically already belong to. Mm -hmm. but I also want you we're just sort of confirming. Yeah, yeah we're like because he doesn't recognise yeah. us, he offers to join us to join again, and we say, yeah, yeah. Of peace. No, and we've got to play it dumb. It's for you. Yeah. So they don't. This Wait, is give me a copper coin. Yep. Oh my! You again. Keep oh, talking to him. I know. Until he uh, this? offers you to I join the to covenant, my and then once you say yes, you can buy stuff so off what him. If I cool. Teach you some miracles. Would that? Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Now, let me share my miracles. Only, their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. Yeah, I already belong to the Covenant. I don't really need to do much with, ha with this guy anymore, do I? No, just faith. learn his gesture and then move on. Okay. Because his gesture's funny. Shrug. Yep. And then I head up to... Um, yep, head up the stairs in that room. Okay. The stairs Next opposite to. the priest. Yep. So head all the way up these stairs. There should be about three flights, and it should get you to a landing which has another set of stairs and an archway, yep. and the archway has two two little archways in it. Head, in, head drop down the left one. Cool. It won't kill you. If you drop down the right one, it will kill you. Those pots back there, I will come back to them. People are probably... Uh, no, they don't have anything in. Oh, okay. Smashing them is just fun. I got a morning star and a talisman. Yeah. Sweet. And Some homeward bones. Yeah. Maybe six homeward bones. Cool. And then there's a little there's a little crack in the cliff. Yeah. I'm through it. And Another chest. With the with red eye orbs in. Nope. Lloyd's talisman. Lloyd's talisman. Four of Four Lloyd's Talisman. Okay, those are useful. So those are all basically PvP items. Cool. But, um, but they're also... The Morning Star and the Homeward Bones are also really useful for the later game. Do I drop down into the graveyard or...? Yep, drop down to the graveyard and start fighting those one or two skeletons that are uh, attacking you. If you're finding it a bit hard, run back to the bonfire and reset. Okay. The 
the best thing to do with these guys is is block and wait for them to hit you because there's a lot of stun on their block uh, on their attacks so basically block let them hit you um, and then hit them once and then block again especially cool. with you because your damage is your weapon's going to do quite a lot of damage shit i let If they get behind you, back off and try and make sure they don't get behind you. I panicked. That's uh, my Achilles heel. It's cool. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, don't worry about them. Okay. I'm new so, to it, so it's... Yeah, 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 it's, it's fine. It's for forgivable, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like, if you're new to this game, then it's, like, quite hard. You've got to... You, it's all about, like, learning the ins and outs of it. Right, are you back at the bonfire? Oh, uh, it's just loading. Cool, I will head back to the bonfire. I am back at the bonfire. Me Here. too. Warm glow, heal me. So we can't we can't oh, meet up until I've taken out the... We can't meet up until you've taken out the Tauros demon. That's cool. kind of like your test, are you good enough to play this game kind of thing. Yeah, and right. shall I not bother with those skeletons in the graveyard, shall I go straight for the... Yep, so what you want to do is you want to not bother with them, but you want to run past them, because... Oh, uh, so I'm going want, back to I the graveyard. Going back to the graveyard, because you want to get the Zweihander. It is one of the best weapons in this game. I guess it's centred towards the kind of character that I'm going towards, like um, a heavy guy. But the, the route you're going to take this time is you're going to go... Um, you know the stairs that lead to the fat guy in the pots? You yeah. want to go. You want to go left a bit and go up another set of little stairs into a room filled with water. I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the one. This one here. Yeah, it's like this. Yeah, it's like a sort of um, veranda thing all around it. Yeah. So then, you, on the left of the room, there's uh, a little bit of stairs which leads out into a grassy area. Yeah, that's the one I retreated to. And they cool. were owning me, basically. Cool. So what you want to do is you want to get to the top of those stairs so the skeletons don't spawn. That's what I did. I ran to there, and they still managed to do me in. Okay. I'm going to tell you now, you are probably going to die once this manoeuvre is completed. So don't have any souls on you. I have... Uh, zero souls, I think. Cool. That's absolutely fine. Right. So once you're at the top of these stairs leading down yep. to the graveyard, tell me when you're there. I am. I'm uh, okay. nice view. Okay, what you want to do is when I say go, is I want you to run directly forwards. Straight to the down the path, basically. Straight down the path, but when I say go. Cool, I'm ready. Okay, go. So run, keep forwards, don't follow the path, head in between the gravestones. Things are, things are forming up ignore, all ignore, the ignore them, ignore them. Just keep running in between the gravestones and the skeletons. Keep just ignore them. Don't pick up that. Don't pick up the first item you see. Ignore that one. I got his Y hander. You got it. I got, I got this Y hander. Nice. I'll try and get back. Don't fight anything because everything okay. here is way too high. I won't pick up any items either. Yeah. Don't pick up anything. Just grab that Y hander. He just halved me. He just cleaved me in twain. I'm still alive. Cool. Keep going. Keep going. Try and get back to the bonfire. That's your main objective right now. I am. I don't think I'm ready for these guys. No, we're not ready for these guys for a while. There's a huge one. When I got the Zweihander, a massive thing appeared. Yep. That that's generally what happens. <laughs> so yeah. Is this bird? Oh shit! They're coming for me. Oh yeah. They don't stop chasing you. I think I can kick him off the edge. Do it. He's yes. Oh shit! And I'm falling down too. They obviously can't drown because they got no lungs. Yep. So this bird is is just gonna hang out here for the entire game. He just sort of sits here and is like, "Yo, buddy." Uh, I just expected bird. him to sort of suddenly like attack me or something when I walked under him. I don't think you can even hit him. I think he's like immune to all damage. Right, I'm People. adamant to kill this thing. Not not the bird, this uh, skeleton. You've got one left on you, that's good. Yep, one left and he's still... 
He is. Like we're not. You're not meant to fight him yet. His resistance is way too high. His I'm going HP. for him. I've halved but him. And he's still one more hit like that, and I'm dead. Yeah. I'm His learning. His move set is really weird. As well, it's good. Get a better vantage point on him from here. Like Don't this is a this this is a really mediocre character, and I'm like treating it like a boss. <laughs> well, at this level, they kind of are. Like their move sets are really weird compared to the hollows. They like actually move with like purpose. Yeah. This guy's mine. Got him. Take him. Congratulations, you beat the button and got 50 souls. Yeah. <laughs> You know a lot about this game. Yeah, well, um, when I, f I that was, I just remember because of the sheer disappointment. I was like, he's so hard to beat. He must give like a hundred souls, and then he gives fifty. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a lot for me. So. Yeah. See, I got it's... when I died. You know, the first time I went back and got my retrieve my um, soul thing. Yeah. You, um, and it's I didn't get any souls for it. I guess the the things you're killing the hot the um. Asylum don't give you anything. I should. I thought I should have got more. Maybe. I, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe you sure you didn't die before then? I don't think so. I didn't oh. die um, when we fought uh, John Prescott. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. I didn't. I, no, so, no, no, so that, I that should makes sense that you should wouldn't die when you beat John Prescott. Yeah. So should have. Wait, did you level <coughs> up at all? I don't think so. No. No, we lost the souls from John Prescott. Well, he wasn't worth. He he's not worth that much anyway. So. I'm probably missing something because it. We took a break and everything, so. Maybe something uh, came in and killed you on the break or something. Yeah, perhaps. Have you got that, back that, to the bonfire? Uh, yeah. The um the break was off camera, so I guess that explains that for the audience. Maybe there you I go. got. Yeah. So I head back up for, to the. Yeah. So we're actually you're actually ready for the game now. Yeah. Um. So what you in, the, in this early game, what you want to be doing is specking your character to be able to use the Zweihander. So you'd look at the Zweihander in your w once you're out of combat, of course. Yep. Open up the menu, and look at the Zweihander in your menu. Physical is 130. Yep. Uh, and then magic is zero, and then fire is zero, lightning is zero, critical is 100. Exactly. Yeah. Then it parameter bonus is C for strength, D for um, the hand uh, dexterity. Yeah. yeah. Then auxiliary effects are zero. Then it should have on the other side should have weight, durability, and then why required parameters. Working yep. from the bottom up. And there's um, like a strong arm. For the required parameters, I guess, that's strength twenty four. Yep. Uh, dexterity, I guess, the hand is ten. ten. Yep. And your dex. That's your cool. Dex, you, so you I can handle be, this. You have you have that. I can't handle it. I don't think. No, nope. it's uh, too heavy. I can hold it and everything, but it's uh, too heavy to use. So if you press the attack button, your character should be really sluggish when you use it. Hmm. Do I have um enough? Is one is two hundred and fifty souls enough to level up anything? Uh, I think so. At the start of the game, give it a go. Uh, let's do your first level up, and then we'll. Uh, it's about time to end the video, I think. Yeah. So yeah, we'll end the video there, and then with Shall you I acquiring this fire hunter.